I turn around to look, where are we? I find this sign. What? Huge yard sale. Warner Drive, 28. That's how old I am. What? This is so crazy. Cause we got free. Tribe Neon here. Welcome to the special edition of We Are Neon. This time the difference is you are featuring. First question. <clears throat> Zachara Croft says, what would the inside of your tour bus look like? So the inside of my tour bus basically would be my mum's bus because what I want to do is fly my mum out from England bring the bus that I grew up in, have her drive it, and it already has my bunk bed in there, it's already decked out, it has like all the old Spice Girls pictures collaged around my bed, so I would feel totally at home every night after the show. Um, you'll see. When I go to England next, I'll take some pictures of the inside of the bus. And here we are. There, as you can see, is our trailer. Over in the corner is our bus, and there is Scuddy's truck. I'm Neon Hitch, and I live in a bus and travel around and see lots of different places. <laughs> that will be my tour bus. Dimas Novaeus says, what famous man would you like to date? Hmm. If I had to pick somebody, obviously I would go for Johnny Depp, he's quite magnificent. Or, I like weird kind of old guys like Jack Nicholson, and I had this crazy experience with him once where this was like the most fangirl time of my life ever. And I don't usually do this, well I don't ever do this, but I was at a restaurant and everyone knows I love Jack Nicholson. They were like, Jack Nicholson is sad to our table, I was freaking out, freaking out, so I was like, okay, I did my lipstick, I got ready, I was like, that's it, I'm going to go talk to him, I'm going to get a picture, this is it, this is the highlight of my life, so I walk over, and I'm like, hey Jack Jingleson, um, my name is Neon, I just want to say, um, I think you're so amazing, um, and can I get a picture of you, and he had fucking mayonnaise in his beard, and he just gave me the most grumpy look and he was like, no. I was like, so embarrassed. I guess this is an embarrassing moment. This is an awkward moment. So I stood there very embarrassed for a minute and I was like, oh shit, there's really nothing I can do right now. So I had to do the walk of shame back to my table, away from Mayonnaise Nicholson. And, um... As I was walking away, as I turned my back, I just heard him say, well, at least I know I can get the young girls. And that really hurt me too. All I wanted was, was a hug. So that was my bad experience with Jack Nicholson. I still love him though, I think he's, I think he's very hot. George Don't Need To Know says, would you ever consider going into acting if you asked? Hello, let's go. Are you offering? I am ready for my close up. Let's go. Yes. Next question is I like this question actually. Caitlin Anderson says, What random things make you happy to be alive? So I have to tell you this story today. Nigel Bear is getting involved too. P.S. He's wearing a shirt that expresses his own freedom. He's experimenting with his sexuality and he has found a new love for unicorns and rainbows. I think you know what that means. Hello, freedom! Anyway, so today I would like to tell you about my crazy experience. So, I was walking down the street, we were lost, so we checked the phone and we're like, what, where is it, you know, going on Google Maps? It's 301, I turn around to look, where are we? I find this sign. What? Huge yard sale, Warner Drive, 28, that's how old I am. What, this is so crazy. 
So I ripped it off the um, post, off the lamp post, and kept that. And then we carried on walking, and I went to go get a Starbucks. And I was like, can I get um, a Grande Soy Latte, please? Thanks. And then they always fuck your name up, don't they, at Starbucks. Well, this time, pfft, next level. I get my cup of coffee. No word of a lie. The name on the coffee is 301. And I was like, God damn, what is going on? And I literally like fell off my chair. It was really, really something. I had a good question from somebody. They said, could you sing some of No Angels? Okay, fine. We are the troubled ones with fire in our eyes. Tears last on empty bars take strangers in the night. Dressed up in sinners' rags, we're dancing near a lights. We came here to lose who we are. We beg, still borrow the love is hollow with broken, broken. Forget tomorrow, just drink our sorrows. They ban us from heaven. Yeah. Last question is Abraham Ramirez says, What is your next step now? My next step now, honestly, I never know what the next step is. I really kind of take every day as it comes. And then there's the beauty of my life. Hello. Um, but we're going to be releasing yard sale video. The video, by the way, amazing. I'm so excited for you to see it. It's crazy. Um, it's funny. It's beautiful. It's emotional. And it's colourful. Then, a Lutheromaniac my brand new album that I have had such an amazing opportunity working with some fantastic people like Design and John Bellion and just so many great people that inspire me and have given me the freedom to express myself um, and tell my story you know whereas a lot of my past music I haven't been able to be completely honest um, I just had them in the right time so now I've kind of dug a little bit deeper and so I feel like when you hear this album, EP, singles, whatever, body of art, body of work, I feel like you will understand me more. I feel like we're going to second base right now. Let's make out. <laughs> Thank you so much for your questions. You mean the world to me and honestly, you keep me going. And just like all of you, I doubt myself. I question myself. But just like you, I should believe in myself and I should believe in my journey and my purpose. And if anything, I just hope to inspire you. And um, let's do this, man. Life is good. Let's make it great. I love you so much. We are Neon. Freedom. Try to keep you by